options we can get in, pin with the hand, from in, pin with the elbow, the knuckle, and then all we're going to get them to do is just want to bring this knee up towards the chair and then drop onto the table, onto the floor, okay? So we're just going to pin to bring this knee up, bring it up, 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 and then just have the foot drop towards the floor. Drop, drop, drop the foot down so we get that little bit of external rotation. We hold, pin, we can relax, bring the back in, or we can hit with the fingers, find the piriformis, the same pressure as we had with the lat, we just push in, twist, we pin, bring the knee up again towards the shoulder, and we just hold, 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 bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, 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 and then just let it drop down, and the foot drop towards the floor, and then we just hold, get the release. Caitlin, is it Caitlin? Mm-hmm. Caitlin, just hit it on the knee, it's quite nicely, and it's got a lot better stretch on the hip flexor, after just releasing the piriformis that way. And all Kayleen did, she just got in, got on the piriformis, bring the knee up, just kept it pinned, drop her down, released it for me, and then she spun me over and the hip went, and released. So that's just another option if things aren't releasing for the hip flexor.